assistant coach Peter Berbikov joins us this week for Coach's Corner. Peter, it was a, a fantastic victory over West Coast, uh, considering they're one of the benchmark sides in the competition. You must be looking forward to this week taking on Adelaide. Yeah, certainly West Coast was a, a real opportunity for us to have a uh, have a crack at another big team. So obviously uh, went for a half against Geelong and Collingwood a few uh, few weeks ago, but it was good to uh, play in another big game and really showed that uh, the form that we'd had, you know, in the previous month is uh, you know is still building. So it's uh, it's a good sign for us. And it was a big loss to see Jimmy Gwilt go down with that serious knee injury. Who will you look to bring in uh, in his replacement? Yeah, Jimmy's been uh, one of the best defenders, most consistent defenders all year. So it is a great loss to us, and he's certainly, uh, you know, a big part of our rebound as well. He's, you know, he's raking left foot. So uh, Jason Blake's, you know, back from injury. So he played uh, in the twos a couple of weeks ago. They had a bye last week, so he's certainly uh, someone that was in good form before he got injured. Um, Tommy Walsh, the Irishman, he's certainly uh, still close to selection, so he could be a consideration. And and it really just depends on the number of talls. West Coast had, you know, four monsters that were playing, so we we really needed the extra tall last week this week maybe it's Tippett and one other so it might not be as necessary to to replace Jimmy straight away but there's certainly some good options for us. Um, and despite sitting 14th Adelaide have played some reasonable football especially against Essendon last week do you see this as a real danger game? Yeah, Adelaide, we went over and watched them play Essendon and I thought they were going to win by 100 points based on the first quarter and a half. So, And they got off to a flyer against us last time in round six. So it's not, not going to be an easy game. You know, They can beat anyone on their day and they've you know, certainly got some good runners and some good ball users. And if, you know, if they play their style of footy, um, they can certainly uh, you know, play well. And they've proven that they play well at Etihad as well. They had a, had a good game there against Collingwood and, and were five goals up, I think, going into the last quarter. So they're a danger game. OK, and our Twitter question this week is from Sean and he's, he claims that Sean Dempster is a very underrated player this season and he wants to know who he'll line up on this weekend. Yeah, Sean. Sean's had a uh, fantastic year and he's certainly not underrated uh, within the four walls. I think he's won the most uh, game balls, which is uh, an award given by the playing group. So uh, he, he got one again on the weekend for his job on Embley and certainly an area that of his game that's picked up is the ability to win some ball himself. So I think he had 17 possessions on the weekend, Embley had 12 and uh, it was an outstanding effort. So his, uh, his role's probably been mixed throughout the year, depending on if he needs to be a midfield uh, stopping role or whether he just plays as a genuine back. So uh, again, it just depends on some matchups, but he's, he's certainly very flexible and, and, and has, a, has had a good year so far. Thanks very much and good luck on Friday night. Thanks, John.